Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another problem today from Lead Code. Reduce array size to half. So we are given with an array. You can choose the set of integers and remove all the occurrences of those integers in the array. Return the minimum size of the set so that at least half of the integers of the array are removed. Right? So we are looking to remove the elements from array but the condition is choose an integer and remove all the occurrences of it so that we reduce the size of the array to half right such that we have to return the minimum size or minimum number of elements that we have to remove right so let's go look at the example in this array so there are the, the, the array length is like 10 elements in it right so there are four threes and three fives two twos and a seven right so from this how many elements if you remove right how many minimum number of elements that you remove you will reduce the size to half let's say if you rem if you take three right so as we said the size of the array is 10 right the 10 by 2 the half is 5 so if we make the array size to 5 or less basically at least half of the array that's what we are saying right half or less then we are good so if you choose the element 3 how many elements we are going to remove 4 if you take 4 out of uh, 10 there are 6 remaining is it less than half no not really and next we could choose either 5 or 2 right we could choose either 5 or 2 any of them if you choose we are good actually so if we choose 5 right so we have we would have removed all this portion so number of elements remaining are 2 2 and 7 but how, what is the size that we need to that set size 3 and 5 if we remove 3 and 5 we're good that's it but if we remove if we choose 2 right then we will remove these two elements and if you choose seven we we remove these elements how many elements are remaining seven it is not half elements removed but now if you choose five right so all these elements are removed so we just have only four threes that is less than the half but how many elements we are removing here distinct elements five two and seven but the minimum size is here three so we can't give that as the answer so we since we are looking for a minimum size right if you remove three and five that is only two elements right then we are reducing the size to half of the array so that's what the explanation here is so choosing three and seven make, will make the array like this which is half so that is correct answer so you could choose three and seven that is correct answer and the other possible sets are three and five so that's what we looked at when we are talked right so if you remove 3 and 5 still holds good 3 and 2 still holds good 5 and 2 still holds good right so there are, those are all possibilities but in all those possibilities the count of elements is 2 right so that's the answer that we are looking for let's go look at the code how we are going to get this done right so we are first get the length of the array and count count into half right so that we know how many elements that we want to knock off or keep right at least half we, not, we need to knock off so for that what we are going to do is we are going to count the occurrences of each element for that purpose we have a ma map so this is a count this is the element and this is the count so that's what we are doing so in this for loop we are just doing the filling the map with their elements and corresponding counts and after that what we are doing is we are ordering that by descending right so once we order the map by descending let's go back and check the example here right so for this array right for this array this is the example array right? so the map will have uh, 3 how many times it has 4 right and let's put it here and 5 how many times 
3 and 2 how many times it's 2 times 7 how many times it's 1 right that's how it is but this is the map now what we are saying here is you are ordering by the value right ordering by the value so what it will become so sort by value so value is so this is the key and this is the value right so we are ordering by value what it becomes the map becomes 7 1 2 2 order by descending basically so descending right so in fact this is already ordered by descending we don't need to do it right we are doing by descending so 3 4 5 3 so value is ordered by already ordered by descending so we don't for this particular case there is no op here so this is same as the sorted map right okay so now in this map what we are going to do is keep a count so basically what we are trying to do is knock off the maximum occurrences first so that if we get less than the size of the half that is n here right less than n so keep a count in the set and keep the current count count in the set is number of distinct elements right here number of distinct elements this is actually the count of those elements so for after in the sorted map first we will get 3 4 this thing so current count plus kvp dot value is less than n current count is 0 plus kvp value dot value is 4 is it less than n yes it is less than n so you put this 3 into the count in set so increase the count in set otherwise what we are going to do is we increase the count but break it right because we are considering them because the old count is really not less than and if it is greater than n with the count we are done so finally we return the count in set right so that's how we are in this example right when we look at 3 and 4 the count in uh, count in set is 0 Cur current count is 0 here right current count is 0 plus 4 is it less than 5 yes so count in set will increment to 1 current count how much it will become 4 so the next thing is 5 and 3 so current count is 4 plus 3 is it less than n n is what n is 5 right yes it is not less than n so 7 is not less than n so we come here count in set so increase it to 2 because it was 1 right increase it to 2 and then break so you don't have to execute this because we already by removing 3 and 5 we have removed more than half of the array so one thing that you have to consider is n is not the length of the array here we have initialized n to half of the length of the array so that's what the trick here is okay so once you, this is the count in set we will say 2 is the answer so 2 is the minimum that we need to choose two elements if you choose that are, those are 3 and 5 we are good hope you understood the solution let's look at the time complexity for this so time complexity right so order of so since we are using this order by descending right so this is like a kind of sort function right so we are going through the sort so that will be the number of items in array let's say n n into log n so that is first thing so plus and we are going through the array ones sorry the the full array ones and then we're going to the through the map ones so the maximum number of elements in the map could be equal to the number of elements in the array right so we'll, it will be order of n since we are going to through that two times even then we can say just say order of n so the whole on the whole we will say since order of n is less than order of n log n since big o notation is all about the worst case things so it is n into log n right so that's what it is and coming to the space complexity right so how much space we are using here the map the dictionary that we are using here so this will be uh, order of two times the number of elements right because there is a key and there is a value so this is the maximum worst case so that we, we could say is order of and again as a space complex 
hope this clarifies your uh, questions anything about the time and space complexities if you like the video please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get all the future videos as part of the notifications please share among your friends thanks for watching i'll be back with another video soon stay tuned